Hey guys, in this video, I want to demonstrate a proof of concept I made a, a month or two ago. It is a mixer for Video Ninja. Uh, the concept here is people are using OBS to mix Video Ninja videos, which is great. Um, it works well with solo links. It works well with the group links. People kind of discovered um, that you can also use scene links as slots. And that's great and it works, but it's not the most efficient way of um, doing custom scenes and layouts with Video Ninja and OBS. The idea here is if you have like, say, six slots, uh, as a director, you can add and remove a guest from that browser source in OBS, treating it like a dynamic slot. Uh, but that means six slots would be six browser sources, so quite a bit of memory. But also, for the guests, they have to connect to each of those different browser sources. They may not be streaming video, if they're not in the room at least, but they still have to be connected and on standby. And that causes a lot of uh, issues, it causes a lot of load for those guests. Um, I, I shouldn't say a lot, but if you're if you're an Android develop, if you're an, an Android user, and you're connected to a room that has 20 of these scenes, that means you have 20 connections open. Uh, it, it, it does start causing problems, you know, it's it's wasted CPU cycles in, in a lot of ways, uh, just because those connections do take up resources and CPU. So a solution to all this would be to have one browser source in OBS, so you have low memory, and the guests only have to connect once. So they don't have to have 20 connections kind of being juggled. Um, because let's, let's say your internet hiccups, you have to reconnect to 20 different scenes rather than just one. And th there's a lot of reasons why we, we want just um, one connection. So I made this prototype. Um, ugly and the UX is horrible, so the user experience is non-existent here, but it's a proof of concept that works. And I haven't gotten any user feedback lately because it's too hard to use. So I'm hoping that this video will help you understand how it works, give you ideas of what's possible. And hopefully it gives you motivation to try it, give me feedback, tell me what you want uh, so that I, I'm motivated to finish it off and that I have some sort of vision on what it should do, how it should look. Okay. Um, so to get started, uh, you know, we have some invite links on the side here and we can just open up these links and bring in a video in. So I'll join with a snap camera since I'm in cameras in use. Uh, and you notice that we have this little button down the top left that correlates to the stream ID. Super hacky right now, stream IDs rather than a given name. But just as a proof of concept, you can see that this video and the snap camera stream are related. I can then just bring someone else in. Uh, so I'll do an OBS camera link. Okay. And I'll join with that. And that shows up as a video. And you'll notice that this looks a lot like the director's control center in Video Ninja. We have these control boxes, one for each guest. Um, now we have these slots, right? And we have these things up top with colors. So what's up top are the layouts, the custom layouts. I created some pre-programmed ones that you can create your own. And the slots uh, are color coded to match with those um, layouts. So a video that's marked as slot one would show up wherever there's teal if that layout is selected. Now to assign a slot, we simply drag a video into the slot. So now the BEZ snap camera video is teal. And anytime I press teal, uh, that video will be positioned accordingly to the little thumbnail. And if there's nothing in that layout, that screen, it will not show. 
Now we don't see anything on screen right now because we don't have a scene loaded, but we can grab a scene link. We can open up OBS. Uh, let me switch to OBS here. And uh, I can edit this browser source, put our link in control audio, da, da, da. and now we have this layout. Uh, it's hard to see, so I'm just going to switch over to this. So we have a layout now that you should be able to see. And I'll just make myself a little smaller and put myself over here. Maybe. There we go. Uh, okay, I like that. Um, anyways, so we have this, the OBS uh, scene, you know, the OBS browser source being rendered, uh, rendering the scene in the center here. And if I switch between this view and this view, you'll see that the scene simply replaces uh, that director component. I'm doing this with OBS, of course. Uh, a feature that I'll be adding would be the ability to switch between these two different views within the Mixer application itself. So switch between a director control that you're familiar with, but also this scene layout that gives you a preview of everything. And it would be potentially interactive. Uh, Right-click menus, things like that. But this mode uh, does use up CPU load um, of the guest because you're rendering the scene, means you're downloading videos. Um, so a toggle between the sufficient mode with more controls and a preview is available or, or will be. Uh, but yeah, let me just go through and, and try some of these buttons up top. So uh, you'll notice that if I press the teal button, we see video one. If I press the red button, we see nothing. And that's because slot two is still empty. I can drag something in and I can reissue that command, right? So these things have uh, effects with the transitions. Um, that's all programmable. So that's not automatic. You can actually choose whether a certain scene uh, does have a transition effect or whether a video fills the window or is shrunken down to fit in a window. And all these layouts are available. Now we get to the four by uh, two by two and we see that the blue and purple don't have slots and so they don't render. Maybe I want to bring in a YouTube video. So I'll open a guest link. There's a little secret button there that we can press and say share website. I'll put in a YouTube video and hit share. And the director view, which you can't see it here, it has a shared website link. Um, so we don't really see that the YouTube video has been loaded, but if we switch to the scene here and we reissue this command, um, oh yeah, I have to put something in the slot, put it there, reissue it, it loads up. So now we have a YouTube video loaded into that slot and we can now move it around um, and it's loaded, right? So it doesn't reload when you, when you change scenes, it's pretty cool. Now we can also take a Twitch video. So I'll do another, another invite. I'll say join with a website again, paste our Twitch link in, ignore that. Link shows up in OBS, right? And now we can switch to the scene mode, drag in the Twitch video, reissue a command, and the Twitch video loads. And we can toggle between these. Okay. So I'm giving you a preview of what OBS would be looking like with the scene, where you can press these buttons up top to control things dynamically. You can then um, create custom layouts. You'll see that we only have four slots here, but the system's smart enough so that if I um, create 
a custom layout that has uh, a lot of users connected to it. It will automatically generate the color code for that thumbnail and it will generate the slots needed. So this is a seven person layout. And now if I add more guests in, I can bring them in here. I can also switch uh, elements here and then I can reapply it. So switch, reapply, and we'll switch. Uh, so you have a lot of flexibility, a lot of customization there. And uh, you have the option of adding new scenes. In the future, the idea of uh, this layout here, when I say add layout, instead of it being this JSON Bob, this would actually be an editor. So it'd be a visual, you can drag things around, pinch to zoom type of thing, place uh, images, place assets on the element, uh, on the scene. So it doesn't necessarily need to be just videos you'll be able to import uh, images and and apply like custom frames and, and, and whatever else you want. Uh, now, you'll see here that this is a JSON ball, like a, it's a bunch, it's an array of information. And that would be uh, representing the scene. Now, if you choose to, you could just forgo the mixer entirely and just issue those commands directly to Video Ninja via the iframe API and it will update um, that way. So you could just have some sort of JSON command hotkeyed in, stream, in, in your stream deck, not even need this window open, and you'll be able to issue commands um, to change the scene. So this mixer is really just an interface. If you If you issue commands over the API, the Video Ninja API with those JSON balls, you can do it through an application. You can do it through a Stream Deck. You can do it through anything you want. I'll add Stream Deck support, uh, MIDI support, hockey support to this mixer so that you can um, change between layouts with your mixer just by hotkeying a particular layout to your Stream Deck. But you, you could do it programmatically also. Uh, all this happens over at the iframe API. So if you wanted to make your own mixer, you could do that as well. Uh, the iframe API just takes the JSON ball and, and renders it. This is this entire mixer interface is really just the interface. You could download it, customize it, make your own mixer interface, use mine, customize it for your needs. Um, it, it's just like a superficial layer. All that really is important is that JSON ball that you're sending to the system. As long as it's formed right, you're good to go. Uh, so yeah, um, to, to recap, um, some things that I'll be working on here is the ability to switch between um, like a scene preview mode and the director mode so you don't have to uh, refer to uh, OBS to, to see what you're doing. It, it probably will be like a, a quality optimized version, um, the preview, but you know, you'll be able to get a sense of the layout uh, I'll be adding hockey support, probably MIDI key supports first. So you'll be able to um, map these layouts to your stream deck. So you can just minimize this and just issue commands that way pretty easily. Only logging on to, let's say, move guests into a slot. Once they're in the slot, you can just issue commands. Um, I also want to integrate this with OBS on some level. OBS is a browser source API. So one thing I'm thinking about is like maybe I can map uh, scene names in OBS with scene names here. So if you change scenes in OBS, it automatically updates the browser source in OBS with that scene. Uh, or maybe, you know, something along the lines of that. Uh, some sort of two-way com conversation with OBS and this so that as you change their reflex here. I think that would be kind of cool. I have a prototype of that actually already built, uh, like a remote tool for controlling OBS. 
so I could kind of figure out how to bridge all that together. Um, yeah, and, and I guess the final thing that's important to me would, would be this layout, switching from a very crude JSON array type data inputs to a fancy UI editor where you can drag shapes around, drag elements in, create a template, load the template, save the template uh, as like a cookie file in this browser source. So anytime you come to the page, you can just have all your templates ready to go. Um, and the point of all this is to allow you to have full customization, control, um, performance for both your OBS and your guests. And if if done well, um, you probably could even get away without using OBS in the sense that you could just take the scene link and screen share it into, let's say, Zoom or directly to YouTube um, and just change basic scenes and if that's all you need to do a show you know having labels and basic scene switching you could just screen share uh the output to any of your uh destination sites you could even screen share it into meshcast and broadcast to 50 friends that way um, i'm not there yet and my goal isn't to replace obs definitely not but uh, the more flexibility I add, um, the, the easier it will be on OBS. It's not going to be crashing because of 100 browser sources. The easier it will be on the guests, and the more control you will have to do whatever you want with Video Ninja. Okay, so that's that's the demo. Uh, Video.ninja slash beta slash mixer. Um, it's going to be part of version 20. It's, it's already available for beta testing. And based on your feedback, version 21 will be amazing, uh, or so I hope. Okay, that's the demo. Take care, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.